guys welcome welcome and welcome back to the power by pro tips by tejas in the today's video let us go ahead and see how to create a text button with the icon so you see that see in the feedback button by default i have a black button if i hover over the button it becomes blue and if i click on the button it becomes green similarly similarly i have bugs detected button and if i hover over the button it becomes red and if i click on it it becomes dark red so let us go ahead and try to build the same so i have page one let me open a new page and over here i have created a small button so let us go ahead and create a feedback button so i have expanded the size of the button now let us go to format and now let us go to style and apply settings to default so by default at the default state let us see how the button should be and let us enable the text and now let us go ahead and name the button as feedback let us increase the size in order to highlight a bit let us make the size of the text to 16 now let us go ahead and make it right align and our next step is to make sure what's about the border looks like so let us select dark black now let us go ahead and convert the text also as dark black now coming to the main feature now let us go to the icon if you enable the icon and we basically have icon type as blank if you go ahead and select left arrow by default you get a left arrow and similarly if you select right arrow you get a right arrow but rather we are least interested in any of them as we are looking for a customized icon in that particular place so now let us go ahead and select custom okay since i need a customized message pop-up for feedback let us browse since i already have the image let us go ahead and browse and let us select the image of message as follows now let me go ahead and open i get the customized button over here so having done with that let us go to style and let us go ahead and give the border once again let me select the borders as black and let us increase the transparency if really required and let us also give some shadow effect as black for now okay so thereby now we have the buttons in place which is in the default state say if i want to change the color of the message then what we basically do we go to style and change the state to on hover so on hover i would like to change the text message to blue so let us select the font color as blue okay similarly let us go to icon this is where we we would require to do some changes so let us keep that undisturbed for now as i would add. so now border let us go ahead and make it dark blue once again and shadow as well let us go ahead and select blue okay thereby having done that if i hover over that we can see the border changes to blue and the text also changes to blue but i have the icon which is black in color as we haven't made any changes guys so in order to change the color of the icon it is not possible directly to do as it is a jpeg image so we need to convert this image to the svg format in order to do that let us go to powerpoint all right so let us go ahead and let me select the powerpoint let us go to blank presentation let us go ahead and remove these two components as we need to change the png or jpeg image to svg format so now let us go to insert let us go to pictures let us insert a picture from a device let us go to the image
okay so i have taken an image over here the color option over here and let me select dark blue okay this is our step 1 which is really important and a step 2 which becomes even more a highlighted step this we got the moment we do right click we will be getting an option as save as picture just click on that and the moment you do save as picture we will have to give the file name so let let me give this as feedback on hover now another important step is to give the type of the file as i already have the jpeg file it is essential for us to convert it into svg that is scalable vector graphics format so let us go ahead and let me select this particular image as svg format so let us go ahead and save let us select the corresponding location and save it over there i can send button over here let us save this image as svg format since i already have the existing file let me go ahead and replace it now let us go back to power bi let us click on this button let us go to style over here on hover let us expand icon let us go ahead and disable this let us browse this and let us take the svg format that we have converted just now in a powerpoint feedback on hover should be our corresponding image that's it now just hover over it thereby you find the changed color format which is in svg format if you hover over on this button the text color becomes blue the border becomes blue and the image also becomes blue that's it let us go ahead and repeat the same steps to our bug button in order to do that let us go ahead to insert let us take a blank button let us remove the same process exercise as bugs detected let us change the font family to arial let us make let us change the alignment to right font color as dark black and border as dark black So now our next job is to take the SVG image, but under default state, let us take a JPEG format. So in order to do that, let us go to Style and our icon. Let us enable the icon. Icon type. Let us change it to Custom. And the next step is let us browse. Since I already have the bug image. let us go and select one border let us enable the border and make it a bit thicker now our next step is to change the color of this button on hover let us change the state of the icon from default to on hover let us give the same name okay and let us change the color of the icon to red so when i hover over the icon i should be getting a red color icon similarly the border is dark red Okay. Now we are left with 
only the image so we need to change the image when we hover over it in order to do that let us go to powerpoint let me go ahead and remove that let us go to insert and let us take the same image now having taken this bug over here let us change it to red let us go ahead if you have any variations and try that there you go and the next step is to perform right click over here and then save as picture select it as new bug and save as type svg format that is scalable vector graphics format this is an important step guys okay so let us go ahead and match that and now enable the style on hover expand icon option let us remove that and now change it to bug on hover that's it woohoo similarly you can do the same for uh, we get this as the output that's it so guys it's very simple and very straight forward try the same functionality all right so all the best guys happy analyzing and see you in the next video till then take care go ahead and subscribe to the channel guys as you do not miss me in the upcoming videos thank you very much